Kuna maeneo mawili ambayo Mungu ana huruma na watu. There are two areas that God have got no mess with men. Eneo la kwanza. The first area. Mungu ana huruma na wewe. God does not have mercy with you. Ukishajiingiza kwenye mfumo wa dhambi. When you involve yourself in the system of sin. Utajua ana huruma na wewe. You will know that God is not longer merciful. Siku ukifa atakapokutupa jehanamu ya. The day you die and he throw you the jehanam of fire. Anaweza kawa anakupenda na dhambi zako. Yes, God might love you with all your sins. Lakini hakuhurumii. But God does not have mercy. Kwa maana jinsi hii. For Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. For God so loved the world. Hata akamtoa that he gave mwanae wa pekee is only because son, amwaminie in honor everyone who believes asipote. Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu God love the world jinsi ulivyo the way the world is ndivyo ilivyo this the way it is Mungu anawapenda wanadamu God love men jinsi walivyo the way they are anawapenda makahaba God love jinsi walivyo the way they are anawapenda walevi God love drunkards jinsi walivyo the way they are lakini but hafunui huruma zake he does not reveal his mpaka wamjie hawaokoe na kupotea they come to him and be served anasema kwa maana jinsi mungu aliupenda ulimwengu koma kwa hiyo usirilai tu na kupendwa so don't rely on not to be anasema hata akamtoa mwanae wa pekee he gave his only begotten son kesi yake ikaishia hapo upande wa pili anaonyesha responsibility anasema ili kila mtu Mm. in order for everyone atakaye muamini who believe asipote should not hapa ndipo wanapoingia kwenye rehema za Mungu so get the message of god yeyote atakaye chukua maamuzi ya kumfata whoever decides to follow him sasa atatengwa na kupotea this will be separated from tafsiri nyingine ni nini hapa what it means Mungu anawapenda wenye dhambi wote god love all sinners lakini hana huruma nao but he does not have mercy for them na utajua akuhurumi and you know is not having mercy siku ukifa ukaenda jana the day when you die and make it to the hanum wameshtuka they are shocked kusema anasema hapa baada ya kukupenda kwake after he loves you una wajibu wa kumwamini you have the responsibility to believe him. and then it will save you from being lost eneo la pili ambalo mungu ana huruma na mtu the second area hey. that god does not have mercy with the people mungu ana huruma na watu wasio na maarifa god does not have mercy with the people who lacks knowledge anasema watu wangu he say my people wanaangamia perish kwa kukosa maarifa for lack of knowledge so pamoja na kwamba ni wa kwake so although they are his na anawapenda and he, although god loves them ikiwa hawatatafuta maarifa if they won't seek knowledge wasahau kuhurumiwa na yeye they have to forget his mercy 